If you're like me and you've suffered a bit of overheating issues in the past, or if you're just looking to maximize your cooling system's efficiency, then some simple ducting work can do the trick. And on this episode, I'm gonna show you how to do just that. In order to help airflow to the radiator here, as you can see, we've got some pretty gaping holes on both sides of the rad. So what we're gonna do is build some ducting to fill in those gaps. And up top here, there's a slight gap, which I'll put some foam in, which should kind of take care of it because as you can see down in this area, it's already covered up at the bottom of the rad. So we should be able to get airflow through there quite easily, but this area here, if it's passing through, that is a bad thing for efficiency. So let's get down to business and make it happen. What I've gone ahead and done is grabbed some cardboard and started making a mock-up of what I'd like my sheet metal to look like for the air diversion panels. So we've got them both on the sides here. Let me pull one out. So they're really simple looking as you can see. It's just gonna be pretty much a three inch wide panel like that. The next step is going to be to cut it out from metal and then try to shape it and form it and get it into the car. Gone ahead and marked off my metal piece here. So obviously I'm still gonna have to cut these pieces out here, the little indent at the bottom. But uh, I figured might as well cut it out straight and true and then do all the trimming afterwards. The electric shear just made easy work of my sheet metal here. I haven't used one of these things in the past, but damn, they do work well. All right, so now I'm gonna Cut these corners off, make this little indent on this side of the metal, and we'll try our first test fit. go after a lot of cutting recutting and test fitting I finally have my two metal diversion plates made up probably pretty hard to see but I've used a sheet metal screw to hold both panels in so they are secured and now it's time for the aluminum tape just to fill in the gaps and we'll be good to go. And here's my finished product. I used some of the old trusty aluminum tape here and ended up filling the gaps in between the radiator and my panel. And just for good measure, I stuffed some down along the bottom because it never hurts. As for that gap between the chassis and the radiator, well, some expanding foam took care of that. With all the gaps sealed up in the radiator, I'm pretty confident I've got a much better cooling system now. This method was quick and simple, but you can get more in depth with it and it all depends on your application. If you've got space from your bumper to your radiator, then you may wanna fix that as well, but in my application, it was quick and easy and it may be in yours. If you like this video, as always, give it a thumbs up or hit the subscribe button to keep up with everything we do here at Speed Academy.